it's my first time leaving a character for that I played for so long, and then you know taking a long break and coming back. It's, I've never experienced anything like that. So it was, you know, it, it's a you feel fresh, so you bring more to the table. It's just it's just like it's almost sorta like you're doing it again for the first time, sorta. So that's a good thing. You know, we're back to just you know straight out crime solving. You know, we have all this uh, emotional history behind us. And it's working really well, I think. I noticed, you know, shows that have been on for a few years since, like, I laughed and, and Monk left and, and William Peterson left. And there's a lot of shows that are very similar. The characters are very similar, which is really interesting because you can watch them and you think, you know, wow, we did that. We did that show. You know, we created this whole kind of new genre again, this kind of strange cop kind of thing. Also, you see, well, it still works. I mean, people are still watching it. I think so far, I mean, the early stuff is so long ago that it's really, I really don't have any favorites from back then anymore. But I think that recently, it's been the stuff with um, uh, Tony Goldman, who plays my brother on the show, and Rita Marino, who plays my, who played my mom. She, my, mom my, uh, my character's mom died now, so she won't be back. But I think those were some of my favorites. Yeah, I did two films uh, this summer that will probably come out probably after Christmas sometime. Uh, one's called The Narrows, and the other one's called Staten Island. Uh, two very different characters and very different from this. So, you know, the film's good. I'll be directing and, and uh, acting like I always do, you know. It's different in the fact that I've never played a character this, for this long. I've never been, been involved in a project for this long. You know, it's a very different thing. It's a very different approach. Um, you, from day to day, you have mixed feelings about uh, uh, the episode you may be doing itself or your character's um, legitimacy. You know, it's a, it's a very, very long process. And, and I think that what... Again, I think what's good about the seventh season is that the examination is going to be a lot more fun than just telling detective stories, the examination of the characters on the show. Well, I'm only as engaging as the scripts are. So it's, uh, you know, I wait to see what, the, what kind of work I'm going to have to do for each episode. It's... Um, it's easier, you know, have, um, I've been acting for a long time now, so it's not like I have to force myself to work. In the first three years, we developed a show and the character, Robert Corn, and I think in the third season, we kind of figured out, yeah, we can, this is what it is, and it's going to work, you know. And then, you know, you have to be careful with things that, um, that you invent and that take, over, that, that take such a long period of time to to um, to execute, you know, it's a, we're in our uh, seventh season now, so the first three years was that, and then um, I brought the character back a lot in the in the fourth and fifth, sixth season because it's uh, you don't want to be redundant, and you know people get used to certain kitschy kinds of things like you know the the character does this kind of bend that everybody goes on about all the time and stuff, which is nice, but um, you want to be careful with that stuff because you don't want it to get too silly. It's a little silly anyway, but you don't want it to get too silly. I really don't play this part as uh, a cop. I really play it as a man, you know, just a guy. Um, one of the great things about the police, uh, the New York City Police Department, is that all the cops that I've met from guys that walk the beat to um, lead detectives, major case squad guys, I've, um, uh, some of the chiefs of police here. Um, one of the things that stands out most about them is what they're like as men, you know. In my experience, which comes out a lot in this show, the most interesting men that I've met that wear the uniform are the, the best cops by far.